Hey what's up guys, Team Booster Break, and today for you I have a video that I've been wanting to do for a while now. Um, this is my entire Ludi Colo collection. So, um, this is everything I have. I know I have a couple other mini figures um, of Ludi Colo, but I have them in a box, and I really... I'll be honest, I kind of misplaced it. So, <laughs> uh, we're going to miss out on those. It was like a little Ludicolo, a little Lotet, and a little Lombre. Um, but I did find that one. So, anyway, though. And I did order a couple more of the... What do you call that? The Ancient Trait Ludicolo and the regular Hollow. Uh, but they just didn't come in in time. And I really want to get this video out. Um, so, I don't know when I'll be able to upload this. But, I don't know. I'm recording it now because I have time. So, with that being said, we'll start off with everything non-Pokemon card related. So, right here, as you see, this I got from Card Collector UK. Um, he sent this as an extra, so really nice of him. Huge shout out to him. I think it was part of some like Japanese game or something, um, but it's really cool. I really like it, and it's, it's like embossed. So, I don't know what it's from, but I like it a lot. And it was for free, so can't complain too much. Alright. Then we have my Ludicolo plush. <laughs> which, guys, it's a Turtwig plush, I'm aware. A lot of you thought I was serious, or thought Danny was serious. But no, this is a Turtwig plush. I mean, I'm sorry. This is my Ludicolo plush. So, one of a kind. Can't find that anywhere else. So, that thing is amazing. Then, of course, we have... This is probably my favorite Ludicolo item um, next to the cards. We have the Ludicolo, what is that, like three, in, like three inch figure. Just amazing, amazing. And this was thanks to Pokemon Excavation. So huge shout out to Mimi. So we have that. Actually everything here is from Mimi. And then we have this from Mimi, which is really cool. Super detailed on such a small figure. So yeah, that's awesome. Then of course we have this little low tad, uh, which you could fill with water and like squirt it and stuff. So that's kind of funny. So it's like the low tad bottle. All right, now getting on to the actual card stuff. So as you see right here on top, we have two cards. We have a uh, Beckett graded 10 Ludicolo promo from that um, EX value pack. Uh, this is from Pokemon Excavation, so absolutely insane. Love this thing. Love this thing. And then, of course, we have this. This is from Hosoka. Um, it is a Ludicolo Reverse Hollow from Crystal Guardians. And he knows this is one of my favorite cards, and he gave it to me graded. Um, just a great guy, so definitely go check out Hosoka's channel. Uh, but this is a Mint 9, and that is just... That is just so awesome. Like, you cannot go wrong with that. Can't go wrong with that. So, those are my two graded Ludicolos. And now, let's get on to the main attraction, which is the binder. Now, I have everything in order from chronologically... I have everything ordered chronologically from when the card was actually released. Um, and then it's ordered from the rare version to the reverse version, etc. So, let's break into it. Now, it's not the biggest collection, um, but I'm extremely proud of it. So, let's just get right into it. So, we're starting off with the first ever Ludicolo card released. We have the Ludicolo from EX Sandstorm. I, probably one of my favorite, well, this artwork alone is my favorite Louis Colo artwork ever. Um, and the next card is my favorite Louis Colo card ever. This is the Louis Colo Hollow from EX Sandstorm. We have seven of those. Then we have three of the reverses. And I'll go through at the ends of like an overshot view. Um, but we'll just do this close up for now. Uh, and then we have Latios Half Deck. That one's extremely rare. I don't have any of those. 
Um, we have the regular rare promos from 7-Eleven, the 7-Eleven promos. Then we have, we actually have seven of the 7-Eleven promos in their holographic form. So these are like really, really cool. One of the most expensive Ludicolo cards for sure. There we go, that's not too bad. As you see, the 7-Eleven logo right there. So, well, definitely one of my favorite Ludicolo cards. And of course, the English equivalent is the promo from that EX value pack, the same one I have graded. Um, now, what's cool about this, and I'm, I apologize for the glare. There's a light directly above, nothing I can do. Um, but the thing about these are, I do have enough to fill the page, but I'm only putting sealed ones, uh, at least in the front part. I have more stuff in the back. Um, so this is where the sealed ones go. So I have six of those. Um, again, with the half deck stuff. The Japanese EX Deoxys Hollow don't have, and the Rayquaza starter deck I don't have. Um, oh, this is just from the set EX Deoxys. Um, again, these are super, super rare. Uh, any of the EX series stuff in Japanese is hard to get. Um, then, of course, we have eight of the English EX Deoxys Hollow. Three of the EX Deoxys Hollow Reverse. Get a better close-up of that. Um, we have nine of the EX Deoxys Rares. So, full page of that. And then nine of the Reverse Hollows from EX Deoxys. So, pretty cool. Um, then we have three of the World Championship promos. Those are actually coming to be pretty rare. Uh, so those are pretty tough to get. And then probably what's my favorite, well, my second favorite Ludicolo card is the Japanese Crystal Guardians Hollow. That just looks absolutely insane. So, I, oh man, I freaking love that thing. So, that's pretty cool. Look at that. That's, oh man, I love that card. Okay, so coming up next, we have a full page. You can tell I like this card. Uh, the reason why I don't have more of the EX Sandstorm is because they're expensive. Um, but we have a full page of the Crystal Guardians English Hollow. And then two of the <laughs> Reverse Hollow. Alright, these are pretty tough to get too. We have any of the Japanese ones are tough to get. Um, we have four of the... Oh, geez, what set even is this? Secret Wonders in Japanese. And then a full page of the Secret Wonders English Hollow. Then we have seven of the Reverse from Secret Wonders. Um, and then we have six of the Rares from Platinum in Japanese. So those are pretty cool. Then we have nine of the English Rares from Platinum. And then five of the English rare reverses. We have four of the Plasma Gale Ludicolos. And then a full page of the Plasma Storm rares. So pretty cool. And then of course following that, a full page. And then of course I want to give a huge shout out to Wakefront Collapse for the next couple pages. He came through big for me. like. I can't thank Wake Run Collapse enough for helping me out with this because if I were to buy these all individually or from a seller on eBay, it would have cost me so much money. Um, but he was nice enough to not only reserve these for such, like, he held these for me, um, but he sold me them for a dollar a piece. So I cannot thank him enough. So we have the Hollow from Tidal Storm. And then, of course, one of my newer favorite Ludicolos, we have. The ancient traits in Japanese. Oh man, those are so cool. And then, of course, this is where the English Primal Clash Hollow would go. I don't have any of that. Um, the English Primal Clash Reverse. Uh, and then I, I have two of the ancient traits in English. And then I have one of the ancient trait reverses. So that's going to do it for everything in the set. And now I have a bunch of miscellaneous Ludicolo, Lotad, Lombre stuff. I do have more 
Uh, this is just some of the low tads and lone grays. I have a bunch of those, but I use those as signature cards, so I don't have those in this binder. Um, but what we have here, I don't even know what these are, but I have four of them. This one I flipped um, to show you the other side. Um, again, not too sure what these are, but they're some sort of like little cards. They're like tops cards in a way, but Japanese. Uh, then we have a shiny low tad. Uh, this is a fake one from Danny. Um, she gave me that long, oh geez, probably two years ago I had that card since. So that thing's been in my collection for a long time. Um, then we have a custom full art. That was made by Jackie and TT, so huge shout out to her. Um, then we have a um, lenticular card of Ludicolo, Lombre, and Lotad. I'm trying to get you to see the Ludicolo there. You can kind of see it there um, with that stupid glare. Uh, then we have a French Ludicolo Hollow. All the French cards in here are from Supers, so huge shout out to Supers. Uh, Supers 25, or I believe that's it. So a French Ludicolo Hollow. Then we have a couple more of the Japanese Ludicolo Ancient Traits. Um, some Japanese low tads, Korean low tads, French low tads, English low tads, all sorts of stuff. As you can see, there's another one of those, um, another one of the promo Ludicolos. There's two more. Just a whole bunch of stuff, random stuff. There's another one. So I have a good amount of those. Some extra of the uh, Platinum Rares. And then these are from Wake Run Collapse. Uh, we have a full page of both the Lotad and the Lombre. Um, so he set those aside for me too. Really, oh, he helped me so much. And then on this last page, we just have some other random stuff. Also, before I do the final recap, I do want to show you a couple of the Ludicolo signature cards I've gotten. Um, so this is my signature card binder. So right here, we have... <laughs> this is the Angelo's Ludicolo from Danny or Super Duper Tutorials. Uh, then we have these two, which are custom cards. Well, this is a custom card, but this one, they did custom stuff to it. So this is from Supers 25 again. Everything is just insane on it. It's so cool. It is so freaking cool. Look at that. Oh, that thing is so sick. And then, of course, this one is from Lotad's Lobotomy, who unfortunately doesn't make videos anymore, but still made a great signature card. So, yeah, those are definitely two Ludicolos that not many people have. Um, and, of course, that one as well. Okay, so now for the final uh, kind of overview of both of the pages or of everything in the binder, I should say. So it comes to a couple hundred or something like that, counting everything. Um, like I said, a lot of the cards are really rare to get, and all that jazz, I guess, but I'm super proud of the collection, so. Um, it's something that has been consistent throughout all of my collecting years, I guess you could say. Um, you know, I've, I've collected ultra rares at one point, I've, stuck to old sets I've stuck to you know new sets but this is one of the collections that I've always 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 collected so this is definitely probably my proudest collection and I can't wait to get the English cards those are gonna look so cool then the last couple pages boom and boom so guys, that is going to do it for my entire, entire Ludicolo collection. So if you enjoyed, um, be sure to leave a comment, a like, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to do it. So I do plan on doing a whole collection video eventually, maybe in the summer or something. Um, but this is just one I really want to do for a while now. So that is going to do it. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.